Hören Sie die Maschinen? Can you hear the machine running? Well, to me, it's not just noise. But there are actually people that have told me they know exactly how their production line sounds like when all the machines are running smoothly. And if they hear a different sound, they know they need to get down there and check what's wrong with their production line and what needs to be fixed. If, like me, you're one of those people, then DMG Mori has the perfect monitoring apps for you. These apps will monitor and basically supervise your production line for you. Today we want to take a closer look at them, but we're not going to do it here. Instead, we're going down there, directly in the showroom. DMG Mori developed three different apps to monitor all machinery. Each one satisfies a specific need, the messenger, the performance monitor, and the condition analyzer. Let's have a look at the apps in detail. If I want to know what's going on with my production line, the messenger is the app I want to look at, because it gives me an overview of my entire machinery. We are now looking at the overview, and I can see here for each machine whether it is actively running in green, or whether there is a downtime, or even if there is an active alert signal. And once I identify a longer downtime, then I can ask, for example, what has happened at the change of shifts, and if I maybe need to reschedule my orders for that day. We can also switch from the overview to the more detailed view, where I can see additional information about the machine. I can see here this sequence chart again, but if I click on it, I can check when the machine had a downtime, or when it was running, which program it was following, and how many parts were manufactured in a specific time range. All this data relating to the condition of the machinery is not only available for the same day, but for all previous days or shifts. And then I see here, for example, that on December 2nd, a Sunday, the machine was not running at all, of course, and the bar remained gray accordingly. This information is not only available in color, but also as a table chart. And in case I want to analyze the data, I can export the chart in a PDF or Excel file. I can also display statistically the full status history of that machine. This means I can check what the percentage of the machine running was in the last days, or over the last time period, and for how long the machine was idle. And this information is of course important if I want to optimize the production planning, or even if I want to buy a new machine, because I can use this information to understand what needs to be improved first. If I want to know more precisely how a machine was running on production, I can look at the progression of the workpiece counter chart, for example, and see exactly how many components the machine has produced and in which time frame. The override is a bit like the gas pedal of the machine, and if I turn it down a little, it's because I either want to slow down the production or because something is wrong, and I want to reduce the feed rate for safety reasons. But sometimes I forget to turn it up again, and then the machine is running only at 80 to 90 percent of its speed. This is certainly relevant information for anyone who controls the production orders, and such data is also displayed in the messenger. And I can see here exactly where the spindle override, the axis override, and the input override were located at a specific time. Alarms are also managed by the messenger. Minor alarms and errors will be corrected automatically by the messenger itself. But for others, I may have to call a service technician, and the messenger will therefore display such alarms. And I don't just see which alarms are set off, but also how often they were set off. And this is obviously paramount whenever I need to do some troubleshooting and check which errors occur most often and where I really need to intervene. Now, the messenger does not only display, analyze and export actual historical data, but it is also capable of notifying me when something happens. This means, for example, that if a certain alarm is set off on a given machine, then the messenger will notify me by email or SMS on my mobile phone. Last but not least, can I in the messenger? Last but not least, with the help of the messenger, I can analyze cycle times and program run times. That means that the messenger is able to report how long the production of a single component or of an entire lot took once I link it to the program name. And obviously, this information helps me further optimize my work preparations and my production planning.
the overview of all my machines. Not only can the messenger show the overview of all my machines in a list form, but it can also display a layout plan, which will show me exactly where each machine is located and how it is running. So what we're seeing behind here is actually the factory located in Zibach, and I just showed you how it is displayed in the messenger. Of course, it's no secret that DMG Mori also employs its own products to optimize the production processes of its production line. The efficiency of the performance of my production line does not rely entirely on the machinery, because machines interact with a number of other factors in order to operate properly, such as manual operation, the correct material flow, and of course the availability of such elements as electricity, compressed air, and others. Tracking down all this interaction is not easy at all, but DMG Mori has a specific app for this purpose, and that's the Performance Monitor. The Performance Monitor can display a detailed machine status, which means that when the machine is stopped, the operator of that machine can directly insert the reason for the stoppage. So in the end, I can check it all here, and I am also able to see the overall equipment efficiency, the OEE value of each machine. Let's have a look, for example, at the DMC 210U M Precision. I can now see here in detail how efficient the machine was. It shows there was a 73% OEE for the day, the 24 hours. And for today's production order, the OEE consists of three variables, namely the availability, the efficiency, and the quality. I can also check here these three single segments. In addition to that, I can monitor the OEE during the course of the day, which is visible over here, on the right. As you can see, sometime this morning around 3 o'clock, during the night shift, the OEE dropped down, and it is now slowly recovering. Up here, I also have this little colored bar that shows me detailed information, for example, if the machine stopped and why it stopped. We can look at the detail here by clicking on the machine status, and we can now see why the machine stopped. 73% of the time it ran smoothly. What we have already seen in the OEE, but out of the remaining time, the machine suffered from an organizational malfunction during 9.7% of the time, from a technical interruption in 7.9% of the time, and for 9% of the remaining time it stopped for short intervals. Now the question is, what does a short stop or technical malfunction mean? Well, also this information can be displayed here, after I click on Status. Here I can see the organizational malfunction was due to a missing tool. And I can also see that the short stop was needed to measure a specific part. This information is of course very helpful to understand if that stop was absolutely necessary, or if it was really a malfunction, based on which I can try to improve my organizational processes. The next question is, where does the information used by the performance monitor come from? Most of the data is automatically acquired by the control system and is automatically transferred to the performance monitor. However, organizational reasons, like for example a missing tool, cannot be automatically collected of course. In such cases, the operator can enter manually the reason for the downtimes of the cellos machine in the side screen. For those machines that have no status specified, I can retrospectively see an unassigned stop and of course ask, hey, what was going on? And then I can add the status here. This way I get a very clear picture of what is happening in my production line, much beyond the simple technical availability of the individual machines. Now we've looked at apps that monitor the machine status, but also track the efficiency of my machinery. The third app, the Condition Analyzer, is there to scrutinize in detail the status of the machine components. This means it goes at the heart of the machine and checks how the spindle, the axis, or the cooling unit are actually doing. And this information is extremely important to monitor and safeguard both the machine components and the quality of my machines and processes. Such information also allows me to identify whether I need to carry out some maintenance work here and there. Let's have a look at the condition analyzer in detail. Here we see again the machinery overview. Let's jump into detail in the DMS 600, 
and here I can see the individual components that make up the machine. That means that here, for example, I see the main spindle, there below the cooling water unit, but also the hydraulics. Nowadays, all these components are equipped with sensors and are able to monitor and transmit their status. And when I take a look at the main spindle, I see exactly the current actual data and the historical data, such as, for example, the feed rate of the current position, which is obviously important with regards to the spindle, the performance, the workload that is currently acting on the spindle. If I want to look at another component, I can do that directly via the side spindle. Let's go to the axis, for example. That's perfect. Now we have here a yellow and red line. These are warning limits. So, for example, if the load on the axle exceeds a certain limit, then I can trigger a warning or even an alarm. And then I can, for example, request the maintenance technician to have a closer look at the machine and be informed about it too. We have now seen that, thanks to the condition analyzer, I can visualize the actual statuses and the status history of these sensor signals. But the condition analyzer can do even more. It can actually perform a process analysis. If, for example, I have manufactured a component and the quality did not quite match with what I had envisaged, then I can use the condition analyzer to analyze the root causes. And this can be done here with the process analysis. I actually can go here and say, I would now like to look at the current performance of the spindle. And perhaps I also want to see the spindle temperature at this point. I can then have everything visualized and see exactly how the spindle load and the spindle temperature were at this point in time. And all this information might give me an idea of why my process wasn't quite as I wanted it to be and what I can improve for next time. This is actually what the condition analyzer does by analyzing the single components. By permanently monitoring the status of the components, it contributes to ensuring and guaranteeing both the operational availability of the machines and the quality of the process. The monitoring apps not only run on any standard computer, but also on Celos machines and anywhere a web browser is available. That was our introduction to the DMG Mori monitoring apps in Celos. If you still have any questions about the apps or any other digitalization topic, please send me an email at celos at dmgmori.com.